Tyrone. Do you have a last name? Nah, I might share. <laughs> Just <laughs> uh, full name's Tyrone Thomas John Ogilvy Walsh. Yeah, I come from good stock apparently. That's very good. Yes. See, every Scotsman's got like a big lord's name. Yeah. That's you can tell for Scottish. I'm 36. I'm 62, and um, I don't know what your metric system is. Uh, 62 is good. Aye, sounds. And uh, well, we'll we'll go with that. I'm 20 stone. <laughs> Very uh, good. So built like a brick fucking shit brick shit. <laughs> yes. Here you go. It's Tyrone. It's laundry day before you start judging me. <laughs> Fair thing we've been Scottish. Ah, oh, it really depends. I think. On a serious note, it's probably we have a massive sort of passion and pride of like who we are. There's only two and a half million Scottish men. Um, but on the other side, I love having this accent. I love playing, you know, the Scottish, typical Scottish character. So whenever for a, what's the best thing about being Scottish? Me, I'm the best thing about being Scottish. Well, obviously my mum. <laughs> Mum's haggis is the best haggis. But traditional haggis is, you know, boiled and with whiskey sauce and neeps and tatties mm. favorite food yeah well i'm on camera so i have to say haggis <laughs> like if i say pizza you know <laughs> haggis on pizza there you go there's one for you change something in the world and what would you change uh, if i could change anything i would get rid of the class system mm. so i'd actually make that equality means equal yeah. that's what i change cool well, it's going to come out wrong because I'm Scottish. It's called Ramen Girl. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Brittany Murphy. She moved to Tokyo and she learns how to cook ramen. Aye. Ramen Girl, aye? <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Um, so there was a... Ugh. There's a time when I was up in Isle of Skye. My heart was broken, my soul was broken, so I had to go and find God, right? That was the idea. I sat down and I was just looking at the mountain. And basically, what to have an argument and say, why me? This is unfair. Yeah. It started to rain, so I took that as a sign. Oh, you're listening. And then, weirdly enough, and I'm just going to sound so stupid, um, but I saw wildlife. And, you know, I saw like deers, I saw rabbits, I saw like, sheep, and like that. But they weren't there at the time until the rain came out. And I was just sitting looking, and the weirdness that I had, one of the most beautiful things is, is they accept me, even though humans don't, and that's why I got hurt. But the animals is raining, and they're not scared of me. They accept me for who I am, and that's why I had like my wee weird emotional, upsetting moment. And I had a wee cry, just me in the mountains and the wildlife. So there you go. That's something that touched me deeply. So you currently work in a cool shop. Now you can say I work in a candle shop. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Everyone laughs all the time. What do you do for a living? Work in a candle shop. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> so you must see some pretty interesting people come in. I see a lot of weird and wonderful folk. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Really? <laughs> uh, well, I've heard fucking way too, so many Americans come here, right? Um, you get them. There's this one story uh, I've told you already. I'll tell you again. You know, like, uh, so we've just arrived here and we were asking like ourselves, why did they build the castle so close to the train station? I'm like, what the f... You've, you've got to be taking a piss. They're all essential oils and blah, blah, blah. So if it's got mango, it's made of mangoes. If it's maca fleurs, it's got maca fleurs in it. So there's one that's called Sleep Sensation. So how do you make that one? And it's made from actual sleep. <laughs> really? <laughs> Aye. And there's just wee fairies that can collect the sleep when you're fucking... <laughs> Side on. Yeah, perfect, uh, great. And the other side. Alright, I feel like I'm in the usual suspect. <laughs> I'm back to the front. Yeah. <laughs>